in the previous classes we have completed sodium magnesium calcium and their compounds in this class i am going to discuss aluminium and copper their compounds first of all aluminium first of all aluminium coming to this atomic number of this aluminium is 13 and mass number is 27 okay in this aluminium atomic number 13 mass number is 27 and this aluminium is silver color that is silvery color and silvery white silvery white color and it is a ductile material ductile material that means we can make wires it is suitable to make wires okay and coming to the important ores these are very very important important ores of aluminium and the, the first one is bauxite very very important one bauxite chemical formula al2o3 2h2o bauxite and the second one corundum corundum al2o3 corundum and the next one cryolite cryolite Na3AlF6. These three are important ores of aluminium. Okay. And this aluminium is a good conductor of electricity and heat. That's why it is used for transmission and distribution of power. Okay. It is a good conductor of heat and also electricity. Electricity. So that's why it is used for transmission and distribution of power distribution of power okay and next one important alloys of aluminium important alloys of aluminium these are very very important for exam here the first one if you take here alloy and their composition composition is very very important composition and their uses and their uses the first alloy is aluminium bronze aluminium bronze in this aluminium bronze the composition is aluminium is is 10% aluminium is 10% and copper is 90% okay Aluminium is 10%, copper is 90%. This aluminium branch is used for making coins. Making coins. Okay. And the next one, next important alloy, duralumin. Duralumin. In this, the aluminium percentage is 95%. Duralumin. Aluminium is 95%. In case of duralumin and magnesium, the aluminium percentage is very high. That is 95%. In this, the remaining is magnesium 0.5% and copper it is 4% and manganese 0.5%. And this duralumin is making pressure cooker. Making pressure cooker and also in aircrafts in aircrafts okay and the next one next important alloy nickel alloy nickel alloy and in this nickel alloy aluminum is 90 percent and nickel is six percent and copper is four percent okay here it is used in aerospace manufacturing manufacturing of aerospace materials Okay, and next to final one, magnesium. Magnesium. In this also, I already told the aluminum percentage is ninety five percent, ninety five to ninety six percent, and copper iron mixing two to three percent, and also magnesium two percent. This magnesium is also used for aerospace materials, making aerospace materials. Okay. 
once again this aluminium is a good conductor of electricity so it is mainly used for transmission and distribution of power okay and also this aluminium is extensively used for motor windings motor windings and the next important ores of this aluminium are bauxite al2o3 2h2o corundum al2o3 cryolite na3 al f6 and the next one important one that is alloys of aluminium aluminium branch in this aluminium is only 10 percent copper is 90 percent in case of duralumin and also in case of ma magnolium aluminium percentage is very high that is 95 percent nearly the remaining are copper 4 percent ma magnesium 0 0.5 here manganese 0 0.5 in case of nickel alloy that is a mixture of aluminium nickel and copper it is used for manufacturing of aerospace and magnesium here aluminum is 95 to 96 percent and copper iron mixture is 2 to 3 percent and magnesium is 2 percent okay the next important metal copper copper and its compounds its compounds here coming to this copper the atomic number is 29 and mass number is 64 okay atomic number is 29 mass number is 64 and this copper also exists in combined form why because this is a highly reactivity material so it also exists in combined form in combined form and it is extracted from that is the first one copper pyrite copper pyrite it is copper iron sulfate and also from copper glands copper glands that is copper glands okay it is extract from these ores and we know that this copper also has ductile property why because we can easily make wires wires we know that we use all the wires are nothing but aluminium or copper if it is in brownish color that is copper if it is in white color that is aluminium okay it is used in wires and making windings of motors and also this is a good conductor of electricity and heat good electricity it means good conductor of electricity and also heat and it, it has and this electricity and heat is greater than that of aluminium it has good conductor of heat and electricity than aluminium okay and here the melting point of this copper is 1083 degree centigrade and boiling point it is 2310 degree centigrade okay and here already i told that uh, important uses are it is a good conductor of electricity so it is used for making wires and also windings of electrical equipments electrical equipments are any appliances that means all the motor windings are motor windings are done by this copper because it is a good conductor of electricity and the next important one alloys of copper alloys of copper these are very very important for exams the first one here alloys and their composition and their uses the first one brass brass in this brass the copper is 70 percent 70 percent and zinc 30 percent okay in brass copper is 70 percent and zinc is 30 percent 
it is used to make idols make idols and also household utensils household utensils and the next important one bronze bronze in olden days bronze metals are used for making bells because they make high noise that means high sound okay bronze in this bronze copper has 90% and strontium has 10% okay copper 90 strontium 10% it is used for making bells idols and coins all are made by this bronze material but nowadays bells are made by bell metal bell metal that is bell metal in this bell metal the composition is copper is reduced friends copper is reduced to 80 percent and here this strontium is increased by 10 percent that is 20 percent so why why because use this this copper is reduced and this strontium is uh, increased means to get the economical why because the copper has highly cost material and also to make higher noise this bronze is changed that is the composition is changed and this is called bell metal in bell metal copper is 80 percent strontium is 20 percent and it is used to make same same uses bells and also for idols and also coins okay these two are very very important friends in this branch copper has 90 strontium has 10 percent bell, bell metal copper has 80 percent and strontium has 20 percent and the next very very important one gun metal gun metal in this composition is copper has 88 percent and strontium has 10 percent and the remaining two percent is zinc zn the remaining two percent is zinc okay and this is used for making the guns and machines machines okay very very important one this gun metal has the composition copper 88 percent strontium 10 percent and zinc two percent and the next one constant and this in this copper has only 60 percent and nickel 40 percent it is used to make electrical tool electrical tools okay and the next important one german silver it is very 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 important friends german silver in the name it is consists of silver but in the composition there is no silver so be aware of this german silver people always choose the options the options like uh, in composition that has silver but in this composition there is no silver here the composition is copper 50 percent zinc 35 percent and nickel 15 percent this is the composition of german silver in this german silver there is no silver it is very very important one in this composition is copper 50 percent zinc 35 percent and nickel 15 percent this is also used for to make idols and also some utensils okay and the next one dutch metal dutch metal that is this dutch metal is used for making cheap ornaments cheap ornaments because the color is like uh, gold color so that's why it is used to make cheap ornaments and in this composition copper is 80 percent and zinc is 20 percent zinc is 20 percent these are the very very important alloys of copper once again brass brass in this brass copper 70 zinc 30 so here 
we want to analyze like the copper and zinc combinations are brass okay and also in this gunmetal in gunmetal only 2% and in case of german silver german silver it is a 35% zinc and in case of dutch metal dutch metal 20% so zinc combination we have brass in this brass that is 30% and the second one in gunmetal gunmetal zinc has 2% and in case of german silver in this zinc has 35% and in case of dutch metal in this zinc has 20% okay these are the alloys with combination of zinc and in case of with aluminum with sorry copper with strontium that is three alloys these three are bronze bell metal and gun metal okay in these three we have strontium in this bronze we have 10 percent bell metal 20 percent and gun metal 10 percent okay and nickel in case of nickel this constantin and in german silver in these two alloys we have combines with nickel here in this constantin we have 40 percent of nickel in this german silver we have 15 percent of nickel okay just remember in this way that means we have the copper has combines with zinc and copper also combines with strontium and also copper combines with nickel in these three we have alloys of copper okay okay friends thank you very much